Good morning, everybody. My name is Joel, and welcome to a stable life. For starters, my buddy Poncho's here, and he's pretty anxious and upset. And you might be wondering, what's Poncho doing in the stable? Good question. Poncho actually spent most of the night in the stable, in fact, the whole night over, uh, because he's got something going on with his legs called scratches. Now, what scratches is, is it's basically a disease that happens on a horse's legs when their legs get too wet. What's actually pretty interesting about this that we've learned is that this is very common on horses that have white socks on their legs. Uh, they have a higher likelihood of getting scratches because their skin down there is more susceptible to moisture and the damage of moisture. Now, Poncho getting scratches means a few things things. For one thing, this means that Poncho now has to stay in so that way we can treat and make sure that he's taken care of and that he's on dry ground. For another, that means that for now we can't turn him out in the pastures like the rest of the horses, but he's going to be staying in this lower ring which has a nice soft gravel and it's completely dry. So that way he doesn't have a problem where he's standing in any mud or moisture that could make his scratches worse. For now, I... <laughs> <laughs> For now, I have donkeys to feed and horses to feed, and none of them are patient. So let's get going. I can see that we're running a little low on grain, so I think the next video we're probably going to be having to pick up some grain. As you can see, two of our bins are empty. We have one bin of Com Ultra left and one bin of Main Menu left. Oh, we're even out of Safe Choice maintenance. Looks like we're on our last bin of that too. Oh boy, I better make sure that I get this grain or my mom's gonna whoop me. All right, to start, we got Rebel. He's gonna be getting some Calm Ultra. And Spitfire, he gets some main menu. If you're new to the channel and you're wondering what I'm... <laughs> Poncho wants his food. If you're new to the channel and you're wondering what I'm doing, I'll put a link to a video where I actually explained the whole feeding process and what these charts actually mean behind me right here. All right, we have everything measured out. So let's go ahead and close up our feed bins and let's get that grain put into those stalls. I'm coming, Poncho. I'm coming. Here we go. Your food awaits. Yeah. Yeah, your food awaits. Hello. Don't hit me now. No, no, you're excited. Here we are. Oh, there's no grain in there yet. Now there's grain. Huh? There you go, buddy. It's always a game trying to get the measurements for the horses exactly right. My mom is the one that's actually in charge of making sure the horses get the grain that they need. A lot of the owners sometimes have a certain vitamin that they want their horse to be put on. Other times we'll notice that the horse needs a certain vitamin, usually for hoof supplements or hoof growth. Guys, I'm sorry, it's raining. I don't know if I'll be able to let you out today. I know, I'm sorry, it's so cute. Which one do you guys think is cuter, Buster or Rocky? I know, I know, they're both cute. You can say both, that's definitely an option too. By the way, I just thought that I would add that, um, yeah, so, <laughs> turns out my camera was broken, like, beyond repair broken. So, turns out they'll send you a new one when you break the original. So, things have all turned out well, lesson learned, don't drop the camera. Apparently it didn't want to survive a fall from about six feet onto hard rock. Just didn't like that. Okay, good news. We have all the grain measured out and put into the horse's feed buckets. Next up is hay. Gavin's good. <laughs> Declan's definitely good. Looks like Poe needs some.
There you go, Paul. Casino. I see you need some hay. Now, for the rain forecast, it's supposed to only rain for the morning, and then it's supposed to get uh, sunny through the rest of the day. We'll see if that actually happens. May be able to let the donkeys out after the morning. Do you want some here, too? Huh? you want some here? Yeah? There you go. Extra bite for good measure. Our horses are currently rotated out through different pastures. So what that means is some horses are in a pasture only during the day. Other horses are in a pasture only during the night. That's primarily important during the summer when our grass is growing at its peak. Some horses get too much grass, others don't get enough grass. So the pasture that they're put in depends on mostly on their diet and their metabolism. However, in the winter, mo each pasture is practically the same. One pasture is about three and a half acres. The other pasture is around 50. So that was all the horses from the middle pasture. Now we're gonna let the horses in from the big pasture. And in case you're wondering, the middle pasture is the three acre pasture and the big pasture, 50 acres. Alrighty, all the horses are in, all their stall doors are closed. Next up, we're gonna grab the four-wheeler and some square bales, and we're gonna take them and put them out into our two pastures. At the moment, our primary hay that we use is small square bales. We like to use small square bales because you can control exactly how much hay the horses are getting. Every day, twice a day, we will actually come out here into these two pastures and we will take our hay and replenish these feeders. The reason being that we will measure the exact amount of hay that would be needed for this season. Currently, it is November. We are getting into later fall. As you can tell behind me, the pastures are green, but it's getting colder. And this whole week coming up, it's going to be down to the 20s at night, which means the grass is gonna go into its dormant phase. That means that the horses will need a lot more hay. So we keep track of that. How many horses? What kind of horses are in the pasture? And how much hay do each of them need? Are any of them losing weight? The thing you have to keep in mind with group feeding is that horses are in a pecking order. Now what that means is that a horse that's higher in the pecking order is in charge. A horse that's lower in the pecking order gets pushed out of the way when a horse that's higher in the pecking order wants that spot. That's why we don't do group feeding when it comes to grain, because we need to make sure that each horse gets exactly what it needs. If you're doing group feeding, you can't guarantee that that horse is getting what it needs. Simply because a horse that's higher in the pecking order can come over, push him out of the way and eat his food. Now, when it comes to feeding hay, the same thing applies. However, you can kind of wheel your way around it. For starters, we're not putting any minerals in the hay. It's not a matter of whether they're missing out on a certain supplement or vitamin. So the way that you get around that is by having lots of places for them to get their food. Horses are lazy, which means that the horse that's higher in the pecking order, well, he's gonna go to the first feeder. And a horse that's lower on the pecking order, he'll end up at the last feeder. Now, horses are herd animals, which means that if you put the feeders too far away from each other, well, the horse that's lowest on the pecking order may not feel comfortable going that far from the herd because the herd means safety. And for a horse, safety is everything. If they don't feel safe, they aren't gonna eat, they will lose weight, and you will notice the effect on both their health and when you ride them, which means that you need to have the feeders relatively close to each other. 
within a distance that the horses feel is appropriate and close enough that they're safe, but far enough away from each other that one horse can't kick another horse when they're both eating back to back. And that's where square bales and round bales come into play. With square bales, right now we're feeding one bale in each pasture. I guarantee you that is going to change with this week coming up. As the temperatures dip down, the amount of hay we feed will go up. In the morning, it's two bales, and in the evening, it's five bales. So we're feeding seven square bales a day for our horses in the pastures. Now, for those horses that are lower in the packing order, we give them a specific slice or two of hay in their own stall to make sure they're getting the hay that they need. Because sometimes a horse will get out in the pasture and he doesn't want hay. So all the others will eat what his share of hay was. And what that means is he'll then lose weight because he didn't want hay. It's a tricky cycle and it's something that you really have to keep watch for. This stable has been running and operated by our family for over 30 years. Now I'm not that old, but I've been raised and grown with horses because my mom is the one that started this stable and who's actively running it today. With small square bales, you can measure exactly what those horses need. So that way they eat everything and there's nothing left when they're done. You want just enough that it feeds all the horses and gives them exactly what they need, but not so much that there's waste. So you don't have any waste when it comes to your feeders. All right guys, that's it for hay. Now I'm gonna head in and do some visual inspections on the horses. Then there's also Poncho. Now Poncho, has the disease that's called scratches. You might be thinking, well, what is scratches? Scratches is basically a skin infection that inflames uh, a horse's leg right above the hoof. And that area basically can become inflamed. Uh, it's an infection that occurs right where the hair follicles come out on the skin. What we gotta do in order to treat it is make sure that he's in a dry place, which is why he was in last night instead of out in the pasture. With all of the rain that we've been getting, there's been a lot of mud, especially in the areas where we feed the horses. Being that we have a horse that just got scratches, I'm probably going to be going with the tractor today and scraping all of that to make sure that we don't have any more horses that get this condition. That's something that happens on all horse stables, especially when it gets very wet and rainy. Uh, you can treat it by simply keeping them in a dry place. In order to treat it, you make sure that the area is dry, make sure that the area is clean. However, interesting thing is that Poncho really hates the medicine, does not want anything uh, to be done about it. So I actually need two people, uh, me and one other person, and then we will treat his legs so that way we can do it safely and without me getting kicked. I mentioned earlier in the video that we actually have two pastures. Uh, this gate actually is an opening to the middle pasture. And for this section of horses, Suede goes into the middle pasture because of his diet, because of his metabolism, the middle pasture is best for him during the day. There you go, buddy. I'll let you out, Declan. I know, I know, you need to go out. I'm working on it. Now, Suede is not by himself. He's just the first horse that gets turned out in the middle pasture. There's more horses that go into the middle pasture. I like to close these gates in case one of the horses decides to try to run behind me or run around me. Uh, these gates act as a, as a small barrier to prevent them from actually being out of the barn and out of my control. Okay, next we're gonna let out Archer. Now Archer, Archer loves to run very quickly out of his stall. So I need to make sure that my feet and my arms and my body is away. This is just how he is. So when I back up, he's gonna run. And let me tell you, when he steps on your foot right there, he can nearly break your toes. It's happened to my mom <laughs> and I, I never want it to happen to me. Go ahead, champ. There you go, buddy. Declan? There you go, buddy. All right, Gavin. Now we gotta treat your leg. So let's do that. Now it's raining today and Gavin has some very weak legs and Gavin has some very weak skin. So we're gonna take some MTG and we're just gonna spray that on his legs. There you go, Gavin. Sorry, Poncho, you're not going out today. So that is almost all of the horses that are going out into the big field, other than there's two more, Rebel and Falcon. The rest of the horses are going into the middle pasture with Suede. And in order to do that, we open this door here. Poncho has been in his stall all night, so he's really upset, he really wants to go out.
you know, I just love the view. You can see the horses are just, they're getting that last little bit of grass that's growing here before it gets cold. Pasture is still green, which means there's a little bit of grass that they can eat. Hey, Leia, what do you think of all this ground to run around on, huh? Huh? What do you think about all this? Do you want to say hi to everybody? Say hi, my name's Leia. Leia, have a seat. Have a sit. Have a seat. Sit down. Good girl. Give me a paw. Yeah, that's my baby. That's my baby girl. Huh? Want to let go let the rest of the horses out? You ready? Yeah, all right. Go ahead, bud. Go on ahead. Now, you'll notice that each of them have blankets on today, and that's because of the rain. The weather isn't cold enough for them to have blankets, but the blankets keep them dry. So that way, if they don't want to be in the running sheds, at least we can keep them dry that way. The poor guy was going to be allowed to be left out into our drier, lower pasture, as I was talking about earlier in the video. But because it's raining, we're not going to be able to let him out. I'm sorry, Poncho. I'm sorry. I know. It is upsetting. It's just raining too much for us to let him out even in here. So I'm going to clean his stall up and move him to a new stall. That way he's got a change in surroundings. We've got a few stalls that are open. He just wants to go out. He wants to be with his friends. What do you think of that, Leia? Poor thing, huh? And that goes same for Buster and Rocky. These poor guys won't be able to be let out. They don't mind being left in as much. They don't like staying in all day. Uh, they're definitely not happy with me when I leave them in, but uh, they can't get wet. So I gotta, I'll, I'll clean their stall and make sure they're all set up and ready for the day. So these guys will be in with Poncho. So this stall is right next to Poncho's. I'm just gonna go in and make sure there's nothing he can grab a hold of. I'm gonna put some fresh hay and some fresh water in here. It's nice and dry. I'll move him from his old stall into this stall for today. That gives me the opportunity to be able to actually clean out his stall. Nice and easy now, nice and easy now. I know, I know, I know. Go on in here. I know, this isn't where you want to go. This is where you are though, okay? Man, did he make a mess. All right, let's get cleaning. Okay, his stall's all cleaned. Let, let the sawdust do its work and dry it out. And then we'll let this stall air out so it's ready for him for tonight. All right, guys, I gotta clean your stall. So don't be freaking out on me now. I know, what am I doing, huh? What am I doing? I'm taking everything, aren't I? You believe the nerve. What's this? I guess they don't want anything to do with the chicken. <laughs> Alrighty guys, you have a good day. Enjoy your hay, enjoy your water. See you guys this afternoon. Alrighty guys, so much has happened today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, following me along with feeding, taking care of the horses. Normally I only record my morning feeding, but today I'm actually gonna be recording my morning and my afternoon feeding. So what that means is we're gonna make this a two part video. So guys, this is where we're gonna be drawing an end to part one. If you are watching this and part two is out, I'll be sure to link it right here at the end of the video. Otherwise, remember to subscribe for part two as that comes out. Poncho, you wanna say goodbye to everybody? Poncho? Guess not. <laughs> Thank you so much for everyone that's watching. Remember to leave a like and a comment down below because it super helps the channel to grow. Alrighty, later everybody. Until next time.